Number one can really be Eleven's father, and it's quite a plausible theory. First of all, he turned to her and only her to help him escape. He somehow knew that she was powerful enough and there was something inside of her, although his belief wasn't justified anyhow. Henry was already 23 when Eleven was born, so maybe Brenner could now use him to create children with his semen if he didn't think about doing it before. Or maybe Henry just simply had sex with Eleven's mother when she was in the facility because she was a test subject there. In episode 7, he said, He began a program. And soon, others were born. You were born. And I am so glad you were Eleven. So very glad. And he emphasized how glad he was that she was born because maybe it wasn't Branner's plan or something, and maybe he struggled to make him agree to Eleven being born. In the same episode, Hopper in prison said that children tend to reject their fathers, and at the end of the same episode, Eleven rejects number one's proposal, and this juxtaposition just seems so strange, and it just simply cannot be here just for vanity. Then here, the Dufferis, who said that The Empire Strikes Back had a great impact on the first season and maybe on the ending of the show in general. And this part of Star Wars has this iconic scene where Darth Vader says that he's Luke's father. So it'd be very cool for number one, especially if he's truly not dead yet, to reveal that he is Eleven's biological dad. What do you think?